Jackson fans, uh, uh, readers, and web viewers at the first day of the New York Boat Before Show. We even get into the show. If we're talking about the history of boating in America, you can't leave out Chris Crabb. Another famous name in uh, in boating in America. Elko, the electric boat company. Fantastic boats. Um, I actually almost bought one of their 50-foot flat tops to live aboard. Uh, incredible craftsmanship. And I think in those days they knew how to enjoy boating. Unbelievable. Just check out the the uh, gleaming brass and the varnish. Uh, and now, Elko is making new electric drives. And now that we're inside the boat, I'm stopping at one of my favorite uh, boat manufacturers, Boston Whaler. I've had a whole series of those from 11 to 21, and I've enjoyed every one of them. The, the quality of the build, the, uh, the, the, the performance of the boats, it's always been magnificent and has never let me down. Um, this is one of the spots you'll want to stop as soon as you get into this to the boat into the show and um, just look at these beauties uh, each one is like a little jewel um, unbelievable that they kept that tradition going for so long congratulations for that Boston Wheeler and now we're over at Edgewater uh, another boat uh, they're actually they're both both built in Edgewater Florida <clears throat> and both boats of, of incredible quality. Um, these are some, these are some phenomenal boats. Uh, get yourself down to the show, and uh, this is just a small sampling of what you'll see in, in, and be able to touch, feel, and enjoy. Come on down to the show. Well, I'm going on the Hudson fans, and uh, we have two at six today at the uh, New York Boat Show. We'll be back tomorrow uh, with more. Uh, interviews with the people at Boston Whaler, Edgewood Boats, uh, Green Max, and a few others. Uh, we've got some exciting news about things going on on the Manhattan side of the uh, Hudson River, and we'll bring that to you on the web uh, tomorrow. This is uh, Jeff Sublet and Yang Plank Gourmet signing off for today for VotingOnTheHudson.com.